Well, I think good. I think we're in good form at the moment. We've got confidence. And I think above all, you've got that excitement about going back to win a competition that many of us were involved in four years ago. I think for some of the lads it's going to be their first time. Obviously it's important for us, it's important for the club. The fact that we're going there to compete, to be the best club in the world. And above all, have that reward, that prize. A lot of time they talk about Barca being one of the most important clubs in the world. And now we've got the chance to win the prize of being the best club in the world. We know it's not going to be easy, but we're excited about doing it. I think at the end of the day, in Europe, it's the prize for having won the Champions League. We know how difficult it is to win the Champions League. A club as big as Barca really took them a long time to win their first Champions League, the first European Cup. In these last few years, have been magical for the club because they've won several Champions League, but it's not easy. It's a difficult competition to win, and the fact that you play in the World Club Cup is the pass you get for winning the Champions League. Of course, it's an, uh, it'll round off last season the best way. Let's hope we can do it. Let's hope we can, like I said, but I'm really excited. There's a lot of people who think, for us, they think it's a lesser competition. But that's completely wrong for us. It's a very important competition. And it's going to be important for the rest of the season. For me, it was the first time. And my memories are the same. We had six or seven deals out there in Japan. It was a really nice time. We played the semi-final against the team from Qatar. We didn't really have too many problems in that game. Obviously, I remember most is the final. It was a fantastic game. Everything came out perfectly for us against a difficult opponent. It looked difficult on paper because they had really good players, Ney as well. But we really kept them quiet as best we could. I think we had one of those really good nights, one of many that the team has had, and we were able to become champions. It seems different because the names are different, the characteristics of each of the names is different. It's difficult to compare the two teams. I think both of them. I think the previous side and this one have both played at a really high level. And that's why they've won so many trophies. But I don't like to go with one or the other. Perhaps in the Barça under Pep Guardiola, to say it one way. We need more control of the ball. Now we have players who can really make the difference up front. We don't need to have the ball so much of the game. We don't need to have so much possession or control of the game. It's an option and it's a characteristic that we still have. But we've got players who can really make the difference up front. The final against Santos in 2011, the only striker we had really was Leo. He's remembered, or it's remembered for the amount of midfielders in that game. River, well, it's my home. I arrived at River when I was 15. 
I learned my trade as a footballer and as a person there. I feel a lot for the club. And it's true, beyond that, it's one of the most powerful, uh, most powerful, biggest clubs in South America. In 2011, they went down to the second division. They had to put up with those difficult times, but like all great teams, they've bounced back. Marcelo Gallardo is an ex-teammate of mine. He's the coach these days. They haven't just won the Copa Libertadores, but they won the South American Cup as well. It would be almost a kind of Europa League over there. Entonces, obviously, que, que llega con, con they come into the tournament eh, in confident mood. They've got some really good players, some good young players who've come through the youth system at the club. Y que, que and they've given them that jump in quality. Equipo, no? bueno, eh, the reality is, I would like the a bonus to be a different one. I will, I'm happy because River won the Copa Libertadores. But at the end of the day, I'm a Barca player and I can't look any other way. I want to be world champions again on a club level. Like my teammates, we all have that objective. We're not going to think about who we're playing against. And that would be selfish on my part. I wouldn't show the correct commitment to the club. And I'm really committed to the club. No, the complete opposite. Winning is like a drug. You start to... Or when you realize how great it is, how nice it is, and when you've experienced it for yourself, you want to have that feeling constantly. Last season was a magnificent season for us. But we came back with the same mentality to try and do the same. Years go by and every time we talk about it a lot, Obviously, older people, I'm one of those. We don't know how long it's going to continue, how long we're going to be in the, the top flight, the elite of football. So everything that we can achieve is very welcome, because you don't know up until when you're going to be playing. So we have that ambition to keep achieving things and winning things. And we want to keep enjoying it as well, doing it in the way that we've been doing it. It's a way in which you enjoy winning and you enjoy the way you do it. I think it's one of the best I've seen, obviously. You never know if it's the best or not, it's difficult. The most surprising thing for me is how they complement each other, the three of them. It's difficult to find three players of that quality, the best that there is in the world, who complement each other so well. And each one gives you something different. I think that's the virtue of having them in the team. Above all, what we were saying before, the three of them are passers as well. They have a way of working together. It's not easy to have three stars together like they are, but they really manage it brilliantly in a natural way with modesty, and they're the ones who mark the path for the club. See, the stars can really work together, the others, we can do that as well. Look, 
Lo tenemos claro que en un club tan In a demanding club like Barca, they're always going to praise players. Se está buscando, eh, and they're always looking to improve players as well. Pasado, el ha, ha dado I un think salto muy, muy bueno a nivel we've made an important step forward defensively y, from last y no season. Eh, Not just at the back though, in the team as a whole, en, en in the way we defend. Eh, este año, por This season for different circumstances, eh, We didn't have much training sessions at the start of the season because the pre-season was tricky. Because a lot of us joined up with the team late. We didn't start in the best possible way. It's obvious that those automatic movements you need to defend properly, that comes through repetition. If you don't have that, You don't have those training sessions, you don't have those repetitions. You start to have little mistakes in coordination. When we had time to move on it or work on it, when we had more training sessions, that's when we started to correct those mistakes. And we started to show the defensive solidity that we had last season. And last season was a great leap forward defensively. I'll say it again, I think more than anything, It's not about the back four, but I think it's about the team as a whole and the defensive system, and that corresponds to the team. Obviously, I feel I've been here for five and a half years now. It's the club that I spent most of my career in terms of years. I feel a part of the team. They treated me really, really well. And I'm really thankful to all the people at the club because they've always treated me in the best possible way. At the end of the day, that's it. Football, when you feel good, you enjoy what you're doing, when things go well, when you come to train, with your teammates, there's a good atmosphere, that's when you feel satisfied. As a player, I don't need other things, I just need that. I just need there to be a good atmosphere, I feel comfortable and I can work. In that sense, I'm, I'm really happy. I think it's difficult to say. It's very difficult to leave Barcelona. I don't think there's a better place to work or to live. That's the reality of the situation. I'm not one of those who think you have to be a heavyweight whilst I can bring something to the club and I'll be here. I'm very happy and I feel comfortable. I think its culture has a different culture to us. It's nice to, nice to know different people with, who have a different way of living. I really like the way, the way people treat each other. When you go to these type of countries, the respect that they have between them, that perhaps that people from Latin backgrounds don't have, you can look at that, obviously. There's a lot more as well. We don't really have that much time to get to know things that well, but obviously I admire the respect that there is between the people. I remember, more than anything, I think the funniest story, the most important that we had, was to go there with Leo on the metro. We were from Yokohama to Tokyo on the metro, full of people. 
and nobody knew us. We were five or six passengers more, and no, nobody realized that we were Barcelona football players. It was rush hour, and it was really, really full. It was fun because we were uh, in the midst of everybody and nobody realized. Well, it doesn't really have anything to do with it, but I like Argentinian football, like a good bit of meat, but what I find is different. Uh, for Argentinian people, meat is the most important thing. I think we have the most world-renowned beef in the world. It represents Argentina. We don't eat things which are raw. We like it well cooked. Here, in Europe or in Spain, it's eaten a bit more rare. But we like it really well done. The sushi, at the end of the day, is raw. It's uh, an important contrast. But in Argentina, you have sushi as well. I'm used to long journeys, sleep. I don't have any problem sleeping on planes. I find it like uh, another bed. Yeah.